Hey guys, and welcome back to another KV tutorial. So in today's video, we're going to be going through uh, how to change screens. So essentially having multiple windows and then doing some kind of transition between them based on like an event occurs. So the exact example that I'm going to be using is we're going to have a login form. And if you type in the password correctly, it'll move you to the next page. Uh, if not, then obviously it won't move you there. So this is actually quite a few steps. So make sure you guys follow along closely. And as always, all the code will be up on techwithtim.net. Okay, so what we're actually going to start by doing is uh, something different that we haven't done yet. So notice that I changed the name of my main app and I've just deleted essentially everything. There's nothing in my KV file to my main app instead of just my app. So now this KV file won't actually load incorrectly if we remember the naming conventions uh, from before. So what I want to do is I want to use something called a builder, which will allow us to load in the KV file no matter what the name of it is. So let's just start by importing it. So I believe it's from kv.lang. We're going to import builder. And then what we're going to do is just type right above our class. We'll say KV equals builder. Uh, if I could type dot load underscore file, I believe that's the name. And then what we'll do is just put the name of our file. So my.kv. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to return KV from this my main app. So essentially what this is going to do is this is going to load up this file. It doesn't matter what the name of this file is now. And we're going to return this file um, when we're building the app. So like, let's just do an example here. If I say like button and I say uh, text and we'll just go like Tim and just see if this works just to test. And there we go. You see, we get a button Tim. And again, because we're loading up this KV file, that's the way this builder thing works, just so you don't have to name your KV file like the same thing as the class, okay? So that's it for builder. So what we're gonna do now is since we're setting up uh, screens, we actually have to use something from KV, which is, well, screens and screen managers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say from uh, kv.uix.screenManager, import screen manager and import screen. So we're going to set up three classes now and they're not going to have anything inside of them, but they're just going to dictate our different screens and then our screen manager. So our first class will be our first window. So I'm just going to say this uh, main window. Okay. And this is just going to inherit from screen. And then all we have to do in here is just pass. Now I'll actually copy this and paste this. And instead of having main window, we'll do second window and then we'll paste this one more time. And again, instead of main window, we're going to do, uh, what is it? Window manager. The names of these don't really matter as long as you remember what they are. And then instead of screen, we're going to do screen manager. Uh, okay. Screen manager. So essentially what this is going to do now is this is going to represent our main window, which is our login form. This will represent the page we go to next. And this window manager will just, um, represent like the transitions and stuff between the windows. Okay. So what we're going to do now, is we'll actually, well, I think we may be done actually for the Python file. So let's move over to the KV file and start setting some stuff up. So the first thing we need to do is we're just going to grab this window manager and we're going to set what type of screens or what screens are going to be inside of this. So the two screens we have are main window. Okay. And then we also have a uh, second window, right? So we'll put those in here like that. And just leave these as uh, you need a colon here. I know we're not going to type anything else, but you just need the colon because there is possible options you could put. So this right now is just saying we're going to have two windows, main window and second window. If you wanted to add a third window, you do something like third window here. If I could type this um, and yeah, then that's how you do that. But you'd also have to make sure that you have a third window class here. And I think you guys probably get the point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start creating the kind of forms for our different windows. Now, this is really similar to what we've done before, except we just need to add a few other things to it. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go main window like this. And then in here, what we'll put is uh, first we need to give it a name. Now, the name is going to be how we what do you call it? Call it in terms of moving between screens. So the name of this one, we'll just call this main. Now we'll even just, we'll just do the second window right now. So we don't forget. So second window and in, for the name here, we'll just do second. Okay. Now again, these names can be whatever you want. Just make sure you remember them because we are going to have to use them. So name main name second. Now all I'm going to do in the second window and I'll just do it because I'm already here is just create a button and on my, my button, all I'm going to do is just have some text and that text is going to say, go back, right? Because if we make it to this 
screen, then we just want to be able to navigate back to the other screen. So that's all we need for second window. Now for main window, I want to set up this login form that essentially all it does is it's just going to have like a label, a text input box, and then a button. So we're going to do this similar to what we've done before with multiple grid layouts. So in case you forget, we're going to do grid layout. And then for the first grid layout, we're going to have calls is one. Okay. And then what we should, should we put inside here? We need to put another grid layout. So the other grid layout will be calls two. And then inside here, we're going to have a label and wow. Okay. I don't know what I just clicked to do that. That was interesting. Uh, and we'll say text. And for this, we'll just say is password. Okay, colon, and then we'll put a text input box and we're going to need to give this an ID. So the ID for this, I'll just say is pass W. Okay. And then in here, what we'll do is we'll say for text input multi line equals false. Okay. So that's all we need for here. Now we actually know we need to add a button. Sorry, forgive me on that one. So we'll add a button and this button is just going to have a text that says submit and we're going to have an on press event which we're actually on release event which we'll do in just a second and we're gonna have an on release event here so let's just do that so we don't forget and let's just do a quick summary of what we've done so essentially this is all like this is probably all review except for this part here um, of what we've done before so we just created a very basic form all we're going to do is we have what do you call it the text input which is going to just ask you for a password you're going to type in the password and then we're just going to check here if the password is a certain value and if it is then we're going to transition to the other window. So the way that we transition to the other windows is we do this. We do app dot root dot current. Okay. And then we set it equal to the window we want to go to. So in this case, if we hit submit, we want to go to the second window that that is this right and now the name of that window is second, like we named it here. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to say app dot root dot current equals second. Now we can actually copy this and we can paste it right here as well. And here though, if we want to go back, we want, want to do the name main. So that's what we'll do. And actually let's just tab this in here underneath on release and this should be working fine. So let's run this quickly and assuming I didn't make any mistakes, which I probably did, we should be working invalid property, property name, multi line. Ah, I can't do equals false. I have to do colon false. I believe that's the issue. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we have our little login window, make it a bit smaller, you can see it resizes. So I type something in here, hit submit, and you can see it brings me over to my other page. And then if I hit go back, it brings me back. Now notice though that these transitions are probably not ideal, we're moving like left, right, we just keep moving to the left, but we want to go left and then to the right. So how do we do that? Well, luckily, there is a way that we can do that. So on the release here, what we're actually going to type is going to type root dot manager dot transition assuming I spell this correctly so root dot manager dot transition dot direction and then this is going to be equal to uh, what direction we want to go so in this case we want to go left okay and then if we copy this and we paste it here we can go right so now let's check this out and see if I did this correctly Okay, so if I hit submit, you can see we're moving to the left. Now watch this. If I hit go back, we move to the right. So you can see that it's kind of going back and forth and that's awesome. Okay, so the last thing I want to do for this video is I want to make it so it only lets us go to the next page if we type this password correctly, right? So how can we do that? Well, we just need to do a little bit of logic inside of here. So the reason we gave this an ID is so that we can check the value. So on on release here, let's go in here and let's do a bit of logic. So let's just say if uh, or we'll say second if and then we'll say pass w dot text equals equals and let's just make the password Tim in this case and we'll say else we're just going to stay on this main page so uh, we'll go to second if the password is Tim otherwise we'll go we'll just stay on the main page okay so let's try this if I hit submit I'm not typing a password and it's not working if I type ti it doesn't work if I type Tim you can see we go to the next page and that is essentially, oh, we should probably actually would want to clear this as well. So we could do that to, um, you know what, let's not worry about that right now. I might do that in the next video. But essentially, that's how that works. This is how we can go between multiple windows. If you want to create another window, create another class, inherit from screen, same thing here. And then you can kind of lay out the navigation for yourself. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you again in another one.